Hi guys, what's up? IoT is a famous buzzword these days and it is predicted that IoT will bring on the next big tech revolution. In this video, let's try and understand what IoT really is, how IoT works and where it can be used. So let's begin. IoT stands for Internet of Things. It is a combination of technologies that enables the connection of everyday things or object to the internet. Example of things can include home appliances like lights, microwaves, refrigerators and washing machines. We will go into more detail soon to help you understand it better. By the end of this video, you should feel like right at home with Internet of Things. I will start with defining Internet. So what is an Internet? Technically speaking, the Internet is an international network of computers connected to each other so that they can be used to communicate and share data. From an end user perspective, what do you think an Internet is used for? The internet serves mainly three purposes. It is simply the biggest library of information which the end user can access from any corner of the world. It is used for communication through texting, social network, voice calls and video calls. It is also used for entertainment like gaming and video sharing. Thus, internet can be thought of as a global network of people connected to each other. Now, when I have defined internet for you, I would also like to define things. Things are basically everyday object that has network connectivity. Example of things can include home appliances like lights, microwaves, refrigerators, and washing machines. Hence, things refer to objects. Let's draw a comparison between internet and internet of things to help induce a better understanding. They both are global networks, but how they differ is in the fact that Internet is a global network of people and Internet of Things is a global network of everyday objects. But what is the use of connecting the objects together and how it is going to help us? Let's see some example of applications of IoT. Applications of IoT can be divided into two broad categories. First one is monitoring and second one is control and automation. First, let me tell you about the application from the monitoring field. A good example here comes from the healthcare industry. Consider a heart rate monitor, a device that continuously monitors your heart rate. This can be connected to your doctor's database where some smart algorithms are run to see if everything is normal with you. If it detects some patterns that in the future can lead to some consequences, then it can trigger an alert both to you and to your doctor. This can be connected to your doctor's schedule and yours and based on the next available time that's free for both of you. It can be automatically connected to booking an appointment for you. Also, based on the condition, it can even suggest activities you need to do to take care of your health until you go to the doctor. This makes the process so simple as it detects the condition early on so that it can be treated easily it automates the process of fixing the appointment so that it avoids hassles like calling your doctor's office, using uh, working hours, going through the appointment times and fix one that suits you and your doctor as such. It gives you the meantime temporary solution based on the data about your condition. This is one of many possible application of IoT in monitoring. Let's take a look at another monitoring application of how IoT can help us. Let me quote to you another example of monitoring application. At some point in the near future, 
all the devices will be tagged with some positioning technology, be it Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, UWB tags that will help you locate your personal items, no matter where they are on the planet. If you are someone like me who always misplaces your smartphone, keeping it in silent mode, then it will be useful for you just to log in into a computer and find out where your smartphone is instead of wasting time searching in every nook and corner of the house. In industries, these tags can be placed on valuable asserts to keep track of them. A good example is tools in the repair shop. It is very common for technicians to misplace them and search for them when they actually need it. The present day solution involves putting an RFID tag on them and train them to replace the tools on the tool holder at the end of the day. But this does not eliminate the hassle for searching for them. With positioning tags, this can be accomplished with the least hassle. I have another quick example for you. Imagine Apple or Samsung is developing their next big product and they don't want their secret to leave their labs. They can put a positioning tag on the prototype and program it to sound an alarm if it leaves the lab, hence improving the security. Talking about control and automation application of IoT, a very good example is home automation. Just imagine the ability to automate all the processes in your home using your smartphone. Lazy to get up and switch off the lights? Oh, that's relatable. As you sleep at night, use your smartphone app that will do it for you. Electricity is cheaper at a particular time of a day. You can automate the washing machine to do your laundry at that time. Google Home is a good example of this where you can control many home appliances just by using your voice. Control and automation in industry. For example, in industry 4.0, aka the fourth industrial revolution, which is all about automation and control. Several such solutions are being in installed in industries all over the world to automate the production process. Control the machinery remotely so that one controller can take care of multiple machines sitting in his office. Just Google Industry 4.0 and you will find thousands of such solutions. Lots of products are being developed all over the world to increase the efficiency in industries. Lots of products being developed is equal to lots of high paying jobs for people skilled in these technologies. Now that we have seen some interesting applications of IoT, I hope you can understand why IoT is the future. Now that we have seen some of the applications, we can begin to understand that IoT can bring us about endless possibilities. If there is a problem without a solution, IoT can produce one. If there is already a solution, IoT can provide us a more efficient solution. An artist can't make a sculpture without using the right clay. Similarly, machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms need the right data to make their predictions. This is where IoT comes in. Our IoT devices can be used to log the much needed data required for artificial intelligence to learn and evolve. Medicine is the field that is expected to have massive transformation using IoT and artificial intelligence. Imagine how anonymously collected medical data from millions of people using IoT products can be used to predict symptoms of a diseases at very early stages so that they can be cured effectively. When can we expect the Internet of Things age to begin? The fact is we are already living in this age. It started around 2008 when we 
had more devices on internet than the number of human being on our planet. Prediction says that we should reach the point where eight objects per person will be connected to internet by 2020. This momentum is expected to continue on for foreseeable future. Thus, IoT as a field of full of possibilities and potential that needs engineers from all different areas of science. If you would like to learn more about Embedded System, visit our website embeddedinventor.com. If you have any questions and suggestions for the future video, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I will see you inventors in the next one.